Hello everyone, Ori Bloop here. Welcome back to another Game Builder Garage tutorial. Um, today I have a highly suggested um, tutorial. This is mapping uh, on the Joy-Cons for a multiplayer game. So basically we are going to get the inputs uh, to, to move basically left and right on either Joy-Cons. So uh, this can work with like fighting games or this can work with any any sort of game where um, you would have basically uh, two Joy-Cons. And um, if you guys know already how the Joy-Cons work on uh, like uh, one system multiplayer is they are on their side. So that's what we will be doing in this tutorial. So our left Joy-Con will be on its um, side and our right Joy-Con will be on its um, side. And I am pretty sure this will not work with um, the handheld mode or switch light um, unless you have, uh, you know, wireless uh, Joy-Cons connected. But let's go ahead and get started. Um, so what we're going to want to do first is we're going to go to uh, edit. And since we will be having two players, uh, we're going to be needing uh, two person, uh, person uh, node-ons. So we're going to go ahead and get those both out. So this left person right here will be our left Joy-Con and this right person will be our uh, right Joy-Con. So we're going to work with the right uh, person first because the, the left one uh, has a, a different element to it. But um, for input, we will be going to stick movement, um, right stick for the right Joy-Con and up and down. Um, since this is a Joy-Con on its side, up and down is considered uh, left and right. Um, but the person obviously doesn't know that, so we need to connect it to the left and right. Um, so basically what's happening is if we uh, move up, or in this case to the right, it will give us a positive value. So we will go um, positively on the x-axis, and if we uh, go down or left in this uh, sense, it will give us a uh, negative number. Uh, that's important just because uh, for the left person we're going to be uh needing to change that um but if we go in the game right now uh it should work perfectly fine so if we go left uh it will go negatively and if we go right it will go positively so basically meaning we can go left and right and it will uh perfectly work with our uh right character um but now let's go ahead and move on to our uh left joy con or our left person uh so this is different just because uh, basically the, uh, stick movement is, is different for the left Joy-Con. It, it works a little bit differently and I'll, I'll try to explain that my best. So if we go ahead and grab stick movement, left stick and up and down, uh, basically if we go ahead and connect it to left and right, it's going to work the exact same as our right person. And it's going to be, uh, inverted just because, uh, the left and right Joy-Cons are basically inversions of each other so if we go ahead and go in the game and if we move the left person if we move to the right it will move to the left if we move to the left it will move to the right so it's basically the complete opposite and i'll explain a little bit why so uh just like our right uh stick for our uh right person uh basically if we move uh down or right in our case it gives us a negative number um, we obviously want a positive, uh, so it can go positively on the x axis, and so we can go right. Um, but if we go to, uh, if we if we move left, it gives us the exact opposite. It gives us a positive number, um, which we want obviously a negative number. So the best uh, thing I found to do is if you go ahead and uh, move this up a little bit, and um, what we need is a constant. Um, and then we're going to make the constant a negative one. And then all you have to do is do uh, calculate and then uh, the multiplier. Um, and if we go ahead and connect those, now if we see, if we go into the result, if we move to the left, it will actually give us a negative, um, a negative output. And if we go to the right, it will give us a positive. And basically, the way this works is it's negative one times our um, output. So basically, it is a... 
uh, inversion to the inversion, if that makes sense. Um, I'm trying to explain as best as possible here and, and easy as possible, but basically it's an inversion to the inversion, meaning that it is going to give us the correct output. So if we go ahead and connect our result to left and right, now we can go ahead and go in the game and uh, if we push left, for the left joy, uh, the left Joy-Con, it will work. So we can go left as much as we want, and we can go right, and then we can also with the other Joy-Con, we can move uh, independently um, because these are both different characters. So I'm moving these uh, both with uh, the Joy Cons in in my separate hands. So you'll able you're able to have um, a second player join in if you want to. Um, but before we uh, end this tutorial if we go into objects and go into camera we can go ahead and uh set up the camera so it's sort of like a you know a motionless camera like it won't follow our players and we don't need to connect this camera to anything um let's make sure that it's far enough away from our person nodons let's see about that uh we could probably go back a little bit more uh how about that see and there we go so now we can move independently with these person um nodons and now i'm going to go ahead and add a jump for them real quick so if you want to jump to be a um all you have to do is uh map uh, a certain button to that you it doesn't have to be a but um in our case if we were to have a with an upright joy con uh for the right stick uh, or for the right joy con it will be uh an X so uh, go ahead and attach the X button to jump and then for our left joy-con because it uses the d-pad we will be using um, our right d-pad and it doesn't look like we have it on here but if we go ahead and select any button and if we go into the settings of the button we can turn off a and then use um, our right stick I mean uh, and it actually it's it looks like it's gonna be down but if we put this Joy-Con to the side, it will be the right stick or the right um, button. So now if we go ahead and look in the game, we can now go ahead and move our characters. And then also uh, for the right Joy-Con, we can jump with X. And then if we can move the left Joy-Con, we can jump with the down D-pad or in this case, it will be our A. Um, and they both can move independently and you guys could implement this in all types of projects that you want for uh, uh, two people to play in. But uh, yeah, I think that's uh, pretty much it for the tutorial. One thing I wanted to say is since there's a uh, limited camera, like there's a, lim a, a limited camera, you can only have one camera in the scene. Um, it won't work if you try to connect it to two. Uh, because it, it only connects to one I can show you so if we try moving it to this camera too it won't work so that's why uh, this camera isn't connected to anyone um, but I think that's pretty much it for the tutorial hopefully uh, this all kind of made sense I know it, it kind of sounds confusing but I tried explaining it to my ability um, but thank you guys for watching and uh, uh, see you guys soon